Stage Wonder coming at you from my van down by the river. So, electromagnetic warfare. Well, if you're a fan of this channel, you know that we've talked a few times about EMP, electromagnetic pulse. Uh, and you, you understand that, that an EMP is a huge event. Uh, it's when a device is detonated in the stratosphere and it blacks out the power grid in the entire United States, which is one of my biggest fears could happen to us. A genuine disaster. But what we haven't talked about is the smaller uses of this same kind of technology on a much smaller, almost personal scale. Uh, this is what's commonly referred to as electromagnetic warfare. <clears throat> so, a lot of people that are um, attending, you know, these rallies, these riots, these protests, whatever you want to call them, uh, many of them have been experiencing and reporting uh, their cell phones getting zapped. Uh, this typically means that either the battery completely discharges. Uh, and then the phone once charged is uh, is okay. In some cases, the phone uh, discharges like that, and when it's recharged back up, all that's left is the factory data. So it's basically a reboot, and the fo phone has been wiped clean. And in some cases, they're repo reporting the phones are getting zapped to the point where they're unrecoverable, and then they never run again, and they're just trashed. Um, Dabu7 is one of my sources that I paid close attention to and he's reporting on an incident uh, out of the UK where an entire uh, European football stadium full of people got all of their cell phones zapped at once. Now what the mainstream media, uh, the almost kind of ridiculous uh, story they're putting out as to why that happened or what happened there was that there was a power outage in the stadium and in the stadium was the cell tower <clears throat> that powered all the cell well the cell phones all worked from and when the cell tower went down they lost connectivity but that wouldn't explain why the phones themselves lost all battery life and their argument is is that all of the phones were working so hard you know to find the signal that it drained all of their phones battery at once. Yeah, I got some bridges bridges I'll sell you in you know in the desert or some oceanfront property in the desert rather, <laughs> however that works. Yeah. Uh, we should do business. Let's play poker if you believe that. Um, yeah, I'll go all in on seven deuce. That's just some unbelievable stuff if you ask me. Um, the obviously what happened there was they were zapped by a device, an intentional device. Um, it's um, a weapon that exists that's out there. I suspect they were testing it to see whether they could take out an entire stadium's worth of cell phones reliably. That could become a very useful tool if you were to take people's cell phones out in an area or a region. Nowadays, it's a long hike to a payphone. Payphone? What's a payphone? I don't know. Do you know what a payphone is? Uh, I don't know. You know what's wrong in the world? Superman can't get changed from Clark Kent into Superman because he has no he has no phone booth to get inside of anymore. But uh, to change his clothes. But you know, joking aside, if you took out cell phone service in a region, no one could call for help. No one would know what was going on in that region. Everything is done through cell phone now. Landlines are few and far between. Do you have a landline? I bet you don't. Maybe at work, potentially, <laughs> depending on where you work. So yeah, electromagnetic warfare it is, a, is a tool that is being, I believe, used, tested covertly. And it's uh, one of the many things that uh, individuals in our world, in the military, in the deep state, they possess this technology and we don't know about it. And one of these days, I'm saving it up for a big video. One of these days, I'm going to tell you about my personal experience with electromagnetic warfare. Because when they take that same weapon and turn it up and point it at you, yeah, you do not want to be under that red glare, <laughs> that noise of that electromagnetic storm when they point it at you. Yeah, I'm going to tell that story one of these days. It does not feel good. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want to know what that feels like. 
honestly, I would have rather been shot. Except that shooting, getting shot, is, it would have been longer to recover from. But as far as just pain and, and yeah, electromagnetic pulse weaponry, it's real. Uh, it's dangerous. It can kill your cell phone. And if they turn it on up to 11, as they say in Spinal Tap, then, uh, yeah, it can kill you too. Uh, God save the Republic.